Today, in the west of Lothar, we find ourselves back in good old dirt water for episode number seven. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we actually got a bunch of stuff done on accident, basically. Okay, so first off, advanced cow punching, we're gonna go ahead and read that. I went ahead and bought this book because I want to learn how to do stuff. The chapter about situational awareness and its importance when trying to survive in a world full of demon cows. Oh, increases maximum AP by two. There's a chapter written by a guy who's survived for 17 different near-fatal gorings. He really learned a lot about getting gored. Gives gore a skill that lets you attack an entire row of enemies. I do want to get ever vigilant though. Okay, so does that mean that we have it? Here we go. Hell yeah. So how many- is there a place that shows like where your, your AP is at? Your character? Maximum AP, 7 AP. That's ridiculous. That's awesome. Uh, I do have 386. I kind of want to put Intimidating up one, just in case. Also, I want to do this one. Let's do the melee attack damage. Okay. 5 out of 7, 3 out of 5, 2 out of 3. Don't care about that stuff. Muscle. How much damage you do and everything like that. Err. Let's go ahead and put up Moxie a couple. We'll go ahead and put up Mysticality. Go ahead and do Muscle twice. And do... Let's do Mysticality in case we fight a bunch of undead stuff again. There we go. Perfect. Also, I have a another book. And I got Foraging. Perfect. I also found Cowblood. Which is 11 muscle and 25 extra XP. Bought a ton of dynamite. Got a bunch of extra junk when I was just going out. All the, also, this thing is ridiculous. Melee, ranged, and spell damage all by 15 increase. But, in happenstance, found a southeast western murder pepper. So I can go take this to the cook that was in here. Which I think is one of the few remaining things that's in here. So, yes, here it is. And I got a P.O. box. Okay, so if you're still looking for stuff to do, I need someone to go check out my mail. I ordered a new saute knife, but I haven't got the time to go fetch it. Okay, so we can just go to the post office, and we can snag that up for him, I hope. But yeah, so I've been doing a bunch of stuff off camera, I suppose. Uh, oh wait, hold on. This is the, the place right here. Boop. Um, yeah. Sold a bunch of stuff, got a bunch of stuff, all sorts of stuff. Do I just go over here? Yes. Open 441, and I got a knife. Darn. Also, I figured out that this stuff exists, so you can go through, like, and see- Oh, I should have sold that one. That's my bad. Um, so you can see what, what goes in what slot and what you can change it to. Obviously, I'm gonna hold on to the monkey wrench, even though I'm using the pickaxe, because it does one more damage. Uh, consumables, other stuff, uh, there, there's also, like, quest items, books, I mean, there's all sorts of things around here. Or you can look at everything, you can switch the way it goes here, or flip your menu around, so it's just one thing at a time, or you can do a little grid system. Personally, I like this, where it says what it is. So, we can go ahead back over to the- she looks really angry. We can go back over here, and we can go to Zakichang, and we can give this guy his new saute knife. Here you are! Excellent! Okay, I only need one more favor from you, but it's the most important. I used to have this recipe for a very secret jerk sauce, but my jerk friend Dave J stole it from me, and then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally, I mean it was buried. Okay. And where is that at? I just have to figure out where the hell it's at. Oh, I have to go to the Dave Yard. Hold up. Hold up. Dave J. He's got to be buried at the Dave Yard, right? Okay, a few hundred yards up the trail, you see a solitary skeleton trudging towards the northwest. It doesn't seem to have noticed you. I'm going to have to try to attack it. 42. Okay, so look at, look at how much... Hold up. Did you just see that? 26 to 28 damage because we're now up to 19 muscle with our bonuses and everything like that that's, that's awesome that's awesome i also have dynamites and stuff uh the poison thing the silver bullet you'll do damage to and then you can take the smelling salts to get extra ap holy crap perform three melee attacks against your target doing 81 to 87. i'll do that I'll do that. So, yeah, okay, so it, it is based off of the same things. So it's not just, like, it increases higher depending on what level you increase it in your character. It, it depends on, like, your armor and stuff like that or whatever, the muscle to muscle. But, yeah, our muscle up to a base of 8 is pretty awesome. Uh, so, yeah, this one, it does one more damage at this level, so now it would do three more damage. So it would be a potential of nine, or for sure, a potential of nine more damage. So, Dave J. Okay, Dave B. Dave C. Dave J. Dig up the grave. 
for each inside, keep digging. And I got the secret sauce. Okay, so now we can go on our map back over to dirt water. And that's the only reason why we're starting over here at dirt water is because I accidentally ran across that, uh, that, that pepper, basically. You folks okay? We're on our way to dirt water, but our wagon went and broke down on us. That's rough. You're liable to get attacked by bandits out here or snakes or coyotes or ghosts or other things that basically live exclusively on stranded travelers. Is there anything you can do? I mean, I could just give them a ride. Okay, all right, I'll give you a... Wait a minute, you've got two horses hitched this wagon. Why don't you just ride the horses? What? You know you you know how to ride horses, don't you? Just ride to dirt water, but these are cart horses. Oh, for the love of... Help them anyway, I'll take the 20 XP. And now we can go back in here, and we can go back to <laughs> these stupid ones. Every now and again, there's something that just, just hits me. Here you go. And I got a sloppy cowboy hat. Is that it? Is that everything? Okay, that's it. So now, we can just sell this. That's fine. I can sell that later. It's not that big of a deal. I'm obviously not hurting to... I'm not like, oh, I need meat or whatever. So we're gonna go move back on our map, and we're gonna head back over... So I still need a candy bar for the old granddad. I took care of his stuff, but he says there's somewhere else. I don't remember where he said they're at. So we've got a couple of different places up here to go. These two places... Uh, well, these three places are not related to the challenges up here, or quests or whatever. So... Let's go to the military cemetery first, and we'll see what happens. Okay, you pass by two skeletons who are facing each other with their arms akimbo. Let's go ahead and try and fight them, because either way we're going to have to die anyways, and we're dead, so cool. All right. Yep, okay. Day 10. So there's a challenge for doing this whole game in one day. I have obviously failed that to begin with, but... Oh, it says... Aw. I can't even drink it? That's dumb. Okay, well the schmaltz I can drink though. Bam! And now we can look at our character and we've got 13 muscle because it went up. So that's good. Alright, back to the map. Let's try to go back up here again. That's the one frustrating thing that, that has happened thus far. Uh, is that is that stuff right there. See a flash of light, dark corpse from trees off to the side of the trail and smells a tang of ozone. Three electrified cow skulls. No, I'm good. I'll just leave. So... Yeah, I don't want to just get shot and die. I mean, obviously I'd have to sleep it off. But yeah, anyways, there is a thing where if you do the whole game in one day without dying, then you get an achievement. Uh, we're already well beyond that, so doesn't really matter. You poke around the shed. The caretaker appears to have been shirking his duties for quite a while, judging by the dusty cobwebs. Looks like the mayor was right about him having wandered off. Guess you're going to have to fetch him back here to do his job. Okay, look at the tools. Uh, well, tool singular. There's a shovel here. I've already have. I already have one. Okay, so we'll look under the chair. Uh, since you've already have a shovel, you leave it alone. You continue to poke around. It looks like, or like all the chairs owned by one guy, it has a year's worth of lint and food crumbs underneath it. It's covered with old paint splattered newspapers and figures. It features a large collection of tiny jars of paint, as well as a jar of fine tipped brushes, a can of thinner, and a stack of history books. Okay, so now. This is where the caretaker potentially went. Fort... that one. Okay. Is there anything I can do? Do not touch the eternal flame. And this guy is roasting a hot dog on it. Okay, this goblin is roasting a weenie over the eternal flame. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No, is good fire. Not wasting it. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Beyond this gate stands countless rows and columns of tombstone. Well, they're not actually countless. I've counted them. There's 999 of them. You can visit an individual plot number if you'd like. I'm going to assume I have to come back with a certain specific number or whatever. Uh, so that dude went off to where? He went down here. So the caretaker might have gone down here. Potentially. Uh. Sweat stings your eyes. Let's sting you fail to use them. Or notice you've run right into the path of the murder. It's just surrender. And I'm mad at, yep, see, look. Even if you just avoid the battle, you lose anyways. So, yeah, it's dumb. It's really dumb. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, I got some free stuff. That's nice. I did get angry though, so it counts as a defeat. Should have bought a crowbar. I have the money to do so, or the meat, whatever. Money, meat, meaty money. Okay, let's go up. It's nothing up there. Okay, why are these guys wearing cow helmets? This guy's peering intently at the figures on the table and muttering, I am Peggy, I am Mike, 
Are you the cemetery caretaker? No, that's Jeff. I'm a paralegal. There's a lot of those in this hobby, I've noticed. Interesting. Um, let's just go ahead and leave. I don't care about that guy. Cat's Eye Candy, Cat's Eye Candy, and Peppermint Drops. I don't think that's enough for the, the troll guy that wants one, though. Study them. I don't have 25 mysticality, so I can't. Investigate requires stench resistance, which I don't have. The liquid in this spittoon is bright yellow. Look closer. Unless? Search it. I sure am. Nice. A black caliber. Deal stench damage instead of physical damage. That goes over the pickaxe, right? 5 to 7 versus 12 to 15? I will take that. How about it? Nice! Okay, can I put can I pick this chair up for the XP? Nope. Okay. Now do I have anything for stench resistance? Doesn't matter about the hat. I can't do anything about the hat. I used to have stuff. But I don't anymore. Got rid of it. Okay. That's helpful. So I can't look through the pile of trash. Don't know if there's anything in there that's all that important, but... Okay, talk to this guy. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm just looking for Jeff, man. Okay. He went and did something. I'm Ernie. Still looking for Jeff. Okay, I'll leave. Are you Jeff? Hi, I'm Jeff! Yes! Yeah, that's me. Did one of the guys... Aww! I need Intimidating 4. Not inventory character. Okay. You know how to live off the land by extracting food and booze and potions from the cactus parcel land. You can forge basic goods from the cacti. You can forge high quality. So I can just do that. I need Intimidating 4. I need 300... Mm. Okay, well. Moving onward. Not inventory. Map. We need to go to... The ranch. I think this is one of the last ones that's up here that potentially has a thingy from the mayor. That doesn't look great. There's no way past these cows except through these cows. Okay, I might have a chance. Probably not, but I might have a chance. Okay, 67, 60, and 53. So this one's going to be the easiest one in the back to take out. No sense in attacking thin air. Oh, no, this guy. Sorry. 25 to 28. What's this do? 78 to 87. It'll do, it'll do three of them, perform the melee attack. Okay. Will we live by three hits? No, but it doesn't matter. This was the biggest dude, right? 67? Yeah, what does this do? Let's hit him. Alright, one cow dead. Is this still my turn? No, so that does count for your attack for that turn. Okay. Got 10 HP. I can't outlive it. So I need to heal. So I can heal. Now, I can use this and knock out this guy because he was the next harder one. I like it. Okay, perfect. He'll hit me for 11, which is fine. Now, I have no remaining action points, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, 3 to 7 stench damage. Ridiculous. Oh, I do have a, a, a med kit. Okay, so how much do I have? I've got 19. I can survive one attack. 26. That's unfortunate. Okay, so now, let's see what, what do I have? 27, that's not going to kill him. 3 to 41, that's not going to help either. I'll gain 1 AP if I do that. Let's go ahead and sniff that. Woo, alright. Now I can do this, muscle up. Right? 33 to 36. Just beat three cows at once, and I didn't even have to cheese it all that much. How about that? Got two tainted beefsteak and 90 of the XP. Wow, this place really did get blown up. Scavenge, the diary of Alexandria. Did I say Alexandria, Alexandria? Yes, it did. Okay, read it. Hmm, okay, cool. Peppermint drops. Bonus by 10%. That's not bad either. Okay, dig through it. Overdue Breadwood book. Perfect, that's part of the challenge thing, whatever. Nothing else here. Investigate it, advanced cow punching. Here we go, read that bad boy. All right, thick skin increases your armor. It's a chapter written for gore and brawny. So brawny is maximum HP, thick skin is armor, and then gore. Let's you attack a row of enemies. I don't know what a row means, but we're gonna try it. 
Okay, it's a <laughs> it's just a, a steel vault door. That's it. Just straight up steel. Okay. Okay, there's a cannonball. That's it. All right, so it looks like there's nothing else to do over here. Do I have enough? Nope, I don't have enough XP. Okay, so let's just go this way until we can get up to level four, then we can head back and get the caretaker. Okay. I didn't mean to punch the desk. I apologize for that. I probably went ding and like rung a little bit. So I'm sorry. Look closely, you look at the cannon. It's a fire cannon. Demi Culverin in size. Culverin? Is that how you say that? Demi Culverin? Unfortunately, you don't have a cannonball that will fit in it. I mean, the one at the, the farm did it, but I, I, I couldn't do anything with that. Okay, is there anything up here? Nothing. Okay. Barracks. Okay, got a bunch of extra junk. Now, can I open these? Yes! Kick it open. I didn't even have to worry about picking it. Requires a needle. Kick it open. Okay, so I need, I need more needles, and I couldn't find anything, so... Okay, Private Lemon's Diary is pretty dry and not very interesting, just a list of day-to-day -day duties of a straight-laced soldier up in the hills without anything to fight. Towards the end, though, it starts to mention their commanding officer, Captain Simon, becoming increasingly agitated and convinced that a nearby ranch was used as a spy outpost. Aha! So that was the ranch that we found, and they blew it up. So still no needles, unfortunately. Now, was that part of the mess hall? That does count as a mess hall, too. Okay. Must have been where they stored all of the what? All of the fire, probably. Okay, so now we can go down to the mine, to Jumble Neck Mine. You spot a tombstone nestled. I don't have forage in two, so we're just gonna let it go. Anything here? Rocks, probably some mining, mine leavings that got piled up here. Search for it anyways. Poke around, but don't find anything interesting. Well, I tried. Okay, is there anything in here? Take some. What? Grab a handful. Oh, well, okay. Got some Blossom Gin, search them, Silver Tooth Skull, I like it. Nothing interesting over here. We can go ahead and go through this little foreman's office first. Except for the dust all over everything and the fact that the guy at the desk is a ghost, this looks like a regular mining foreman's office. Grab the helmet, I'll take that to sell for some extra meat. Take a closer look. You stoop down to take a closer look at the safe. It's a pretty standard heavy duty safe with a dial type combination lock. Hey, is something wrong with your ears? I told you to get away from there. Try to open it. Why you little come here? Possibility to actually win this. 51 to 60 damage in one turn? I will take that. Hit a row of enemies for zero. Like it. I See, now I wonder if I should have beefed up before doing that. Does this guy have a one hit punch? No, we're good. All right, we can just do this again. So yeah, I could probably beef up and then do that. That would be pretty overpowered. I like it. 30 XP. Is there anything else over here? Okay. I got an elevator, elevator key and an extra grisly jerky. Melee damage by 5. That's not bad. Miner's helmet. Okay. Uh, melee damage by 10. That was nice getting that off of there. Okay. And we'll go ahead and take a closer look. And requires safe crack. And I don't have that, do I? No. No, I don't. Okay. I kind of want to increase this, but I also need 300, so I'm not going to. All right, hopefully we'll be able to find some sort of some sort of stuff. Unlock the elevator. See, we can just use that. You unlock the elevator, or you unlock the lever with the foreman's key and give it a yank. The elevator shutters as it begins to descend, accompanied by the sound of cranking or clanking chains and grinding pulleys. Very quickly, it becomes too dark to see, and you pull out your lantern. Very slowly, the elevator reaches its destination. You pull the door to open it and peer into the gloom. Put your shoulder into the minecart and give it a shove. It tundles or trundles? I don't know what trundles is. Down the track and bonks into a big pile of rocks. Okay. Got an old pickaxe. Uh, I'm going to assume that goes in this this hand. Yep. 10 to 13. What's, what's this doing? 12 to 15. So 10 to 13 is less. But I like it. Okay. Don't need that. Okay. Check it out. There isn't much to see except for rocks. There's quite a lot of them, though, so if you want to look at the rocks, great selection to choose from. Okay. So can I shove this thing again? Oh, I pushed into the other room. And there's one over here on this side. Now both of the carts are inside of there. 
Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, paper bag and some raisins. Anything over here on this side? Nope. Okay, so this hit this thing. I don't know what that is. This is a crate full of old dynamite. Dynamite gets very dangerous when it ages, but I know better than to try to stop you from taking a stick if you decide you want one. A stable stick of dynamite. Well, the lever, the lever mechanism is rusted and stuck. This is going to require something heavier duty than a can of oil, seems like. Stick old dynamite. Seems to be locked. Okay, so we locked it in. That might be unfortunate. So we needed the dynamite to blow this up. What if we leave? Does it reset it? Because if not, I think I just kind of screwed it. Unless there's another level to go to. No, there isn't. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if it resets it. Looks like it did not. Okay, so I'm gonna need something heavier than a can of oil. Heavier duty than a can of oil. That sucks, because I think I sold the can of oil that I had. I had a thing of lubricant. I did, at one point in time, and I got rid of it because I'm a stupid dummy dumb ahead. Okay, let's go back to the map. Let's go back to Breadwood. And then we'll see what we can do to get rid of uh, the stuff. This is the bag, it's got a bunch of extra stuff. Ooh, and a medical gun. What does that do? 30 maximum HP, it does 8 to 10? I mean, deals stench instead of physical for Moxie. I'll just take that, because it'll give me more damage potential, or more health, rather. I'm down with that. Okay. Now let's go ahead back to the Breadwood bread wood Mayor. I just tried to say Breadwood Mayor. Half of it, okay, 90 XP. Okay, not yet, not yet, not yet. Take your leave, okay. So does this cross things off as we go? Missing mail. The last batch of mail is never seen. But the force is standing. We can't chop them down. Skeletons keep wandering in a town and poking people in the eye. Okay. Okay. So now, we need to go back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to do this. We need to do this. Give ourselves, uh, what was it? Intimidating? Okay. Now I got intimidating. And while we're here, we might as well just increase the muscle while we're at it. Then we can go back to the map and go to the fort. Fort Memoriam. Uh, okay. We're gonna die. Instantly. Oh, almost instantly. 109. We're not gonna do a whole lot of damage. This does a lot, actually. Let's get beefy! Let's get beefy out here, huh? Okay, this costs one. That actually, I don't think that's going to help us at all, but we'll see. And then if we can do this, let's see, how many extra points? This costs two, so this is ten free. Okay, let's do this. So ten free damage, and he can't do anything. Now we can do this, with 87 total, but that's not going to help either. Crap. Let's do this. Seventy-eight to eighty-seven. If we get a low roll on all of them, then I deserve to die. Okay, we're good. We got it. We got it by minus two, by the way. So, yeah, we we're close. Okay, so now we have intimidating. We can go back over here to this dude right here, talk to him, and intimidate him. No, look, dude, this is a job we're talking about. Take some responsibility and go do your job if you want to keep it. Aw, oh, come on, sorry to hassle you, but this is important. You gotta keep these soldiers in their holes. All right, fine, sorry guys, my mom says I have to go. Okay, so now we can go back over to Redwood. Oh, can, can we just frighten him off? 20 XP, I'll take that. Okay, back to Redwood. We can talk to the mayor. And that should get rid of the skeletons. Okay. Bam. 90 XP. Okay, so what do we have left? Logging permit robbed bread bank by the Baker Boys. Okay. And the Baker Boys had a hideout, right? It was like the Baker Boys hideout or something? Yeah, Baker Boys hideout. But I think I needed a ridiculous amount of stuff. I'll just, I'll just scare you away, you butthead. I got a shovel. Nice. 
I needed a crap load of mysticality, didn't I? I needed like 25 or something like that. Okay, Forage in 3 will do it, or 35 mysticality. I'm at 8. Forage in 3. I need a lot more XP. Okay, that's gonna be the easiest way to do that, because I don't think I can get myself up to 35. I mean, we can look here real quick, but I don't think there's anything I can do. Yeah, mysticality by 3. Uh, mysticality by 1. Muscle, poison, melee damage, moxie, and muscle, item drop, spell damage. Muscle and maximum HP, but I can't drink it, even though I want to. Okay. Moxie by one. But nothing for mysticality that's gonna bring me up over the top. Yeah, so I need I need some more XP. So we need to go to places that we haven't been to yet. Which means the only one that's up here is uh Reboot Hill. Okay, there's a deeply gravelly exhalation of breath behind you, and you realize you've been ambushed by a hell cow. 69 HP, that's a lot. Okay, he's got 120. That's a problem. Zero damage and set them on fire. Zero damage. Alright, well, let's, let's get beefy. Now. Three damage. Let's subtract four of your muscle and then die anyways. Okay. That worked. Definitely worked. Okay. Reboot Hill. We're here. We have made it. It's actually Boot Hill, but they changed it to Reboot. Okay, don't worry. It's just paint. Is there anything here for me, though? I'm going this way. Obviously, I saw that gate was there, but I'm going this way to see if there's anything down this way. Now, this seems excessively long for there to be nothing for you. Wait, 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 did I see there's a strange keyhole? Okay. So I need to keep track of a, a keyhole. Lot number one. You see a ghost of an elderly woman holding flowers. She seems lost and depressed above and beyond what's expected from a ghost. Howdy ma'am, is there something I can help you with? Oh, just awful. I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Let's start at the beginning. Okay, well, you see, I had four daughters. They married four brothers, the Smith boys. And after that, they each had five daughters of their own. Unfortunately, I outlived every one of the 24 of them. Ah, uh, you know your ghost, right? Oh yes, in fact, I died here in this graveyard where they're all buried. I came to visit them. I suppose my poor old heart finally gave out. That's not the problem though. 95 years is a pretty good run after all. Back then, that was ridiculous, man. We're talking around like 1900. Uh, so what did you forget? I bought this bouquet of flowers and put on my favorite granddaughter's, put it on my favorite granddaughter's grave, but I can't remember which one of them was my favorite. I'm so ashamed and I can't bear to leave until I remembered. Okay, we'll see. Maybe I can help you figure it out. Okay, thank you. I'd appreciate it. Do you remember anything about your granddaughter? Quite certain her first name ended with a vowel. I remember I was 40 when she was born. Oh no, 37. Or was it 42? Okay, anything else? Her first name was longer than her last. She wasn't buried next to any of my daughters. I need to write this down. I moved my notebook out of reach. Damn it. She passed the same age as poor, poor Becky, who was always in such ill, all, okay. such bad health. I think I knew who she was. Okay. Did her name start with a P? Hmm. Was it P-A? Was it, was it Paula? No, no, that wasn't her. I'll never remember. I'm sorry. I, maybe try again later? So I'd have to, like, go through and, like, figure out who the hell it was. Okay, well, shoveled it anyways. Alright, well, I'll come back and try later, because I, I have no idea who your stupid daughter was. Okay. Oh, well, uh, map. So there was nothing there at all for me, and we can go to the Hellstrom Ranch. And got a west pole, the west pole. Let's go ahead and investigate it. It's on the way, right? Don't have forge in three. Need forge in three. Oh, wait, hold on. Mess with them. They don't seem to weigh as much as they should, and they're sort of drawn to each other. You could probably make an interesting Karen? Or, yeah, I guess Karen out of them? Something powerful, something something mystical. A perfectly balanced stack. Nice. So I can just I can just do whatever I want to these things, but it's not going to actually accomplish anything. Examine it. There's nothing special about it, apart from the fact that there isn't a, it, it isn't with a pile of other rocks. Pick it up. It's 
way heavier than it looks. You can't budget at all. Weird. Okay. Glad I came here for nothing. Okay, Matt, there's probably something you can do, like, to make a pattern or whatever. Okay, don't have a crowbar still. I need to go buy a damn crowbar. I keep forgetting to buy a damn crowbar. What the hell? Yo! You wanna calm down, sir. Okay. First thing we need to do is beef up. Second thing we need to do is figure out how much damage we can do. We can do 60 total damage. We can't outlive the attack. Well, we can do this for 10 free damage. So we can get him to 117. So I can still do 60. I have to throw a lot of dynamite. Yeah. Okay. Throw this. And throw this. And this was up to 60, right? Yeah, 51 to 60, so we gotta do this again. 51 to 60. This is- that's too much of a gamble, let's just throw another thing of dynamite. And then we'll kill it. Easy peasy! As long as you got dynamite, you can do it. Okay, 40 XP and a brass bull ring. Nice! Agave nectar. And a lucky horseshoe. I don't know what any of that stuff is for. Pistol attack damage in my offhand. Moxie by 7. And I can just sell it. Okay. What is this? It's a portal to hell. You hear ominous mooing. What is that? This will attract the attention of at least one infernal cow. Okay, let's go in the barn. Okay, you lack proper leatherworking expertise to use these tools. Search it. You got a burned leatherworking manual. Let's go ahead and read it. And now I can make leather stuffs. Make something out of thick leather. Okay, so a hat's not going to do anything. Don't care about boots. I don't care about a bag. Disabling combat item. That's kind of cool. Um, let me make none of these for now. Just for now. And dig through it. Got a needle. Okay. So dig through here. And got a needle. Needle in a haystack, everybody. Now, what else did I have? We got Kellogg Ranch. We'll go ahead and do this, and then we'll call it the end of the episode. Uh, open it with your hands. Ow, ow, ow. And some stuff. And some more stuff. And, okay, just kidding. I forgot that if you use your hand, it knocks you out. Because, why not? That's not bad. 7 or 9? That's cool. Alright, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that will bring us to the end of this episode. I I'm gonna go sell a bunch of stuff and see what I can do about getting myself a crowbar. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.